this other principle, respecting your time, yep. setting boundaries. Yep. Jared, I, I have to tell you, um, you know, all, all of us, no, no matter what profession we are, whether we, we work full-time in the business world, we're white collar, blue collar, we're a full-time parent, wh whatever, we have responsibilities. And those responsibilities vary. And, and there are child's doctor appointments, it's trips that we're taking, it's, 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 it's um, working with our, our parents who might be sick and we're taking time for, for them and looking at all the different priorities we have in our life. We are always putting ourselves last. And I, I, I do this with my, the people that I give workshops on. I, I, I look, I, I build us a, a PowerPoint slide with the list of all of the groups of people that are in our life, our partner, our boss, our professor, our, our, our children, our children's teacher, our, everybody else. And then, and then right at the bottom is, is me. And that's just kind of how we are as, as human nature, right? We, we, want to, we want to provide for others. We want to help others. We want to heal others. And I think, though, that we have to sometimes, I shouldn't say sometimes, all the time, we have to put on our oxygen mask first. And part of that, from a practical sense, is looking at our time. We do not, like, I do not talk to my clients and tell them that they need to spend a half an hour every day to exercise or that they need to spend four hours a week meal prepping. Because I can't tell every client to do that because we all are living different lives. But what I can tell them is to re is to re-examine the time that they're spending. So I, I, I ask my clients to do a calendar audit. And that's why I would suggest to anybody is look at the last few days that you've had, look at the meetings, the obligations that you've had, and, and do some coding. Look at ones that you definitely had to be at. Look at meetings that maybe you, you didn't need to be at. And some may say, well, it would have been good for me to be there, but maybe not. And then look ahead to the next few days or next week and see, really examine what points in time you don't need to participate in that you can give back to yourself. Now, people might be saying, Mark, that's ridiculous. I need to be everywhere at all times. I get it. Again, I can't control that. But let's dig deeper. Yeah. Let's say, for instance, that you, uh, I, I have clients who have, have children who go to soccer practice and basketball practice, and they have to drop their kids off. A lot of them are waiting in their car. They're scrolling on their phone. They're taking a call. Okay, I get that. Now. Now, here's the question. Do you need to sit in that car or can you get outside and walk around a track or walk around somewhere and incorporate movement? So that's one example. Mm -hmm. A lot of people say, Mark, I have a lot of meetings. I have four hours of back-to-back -back meetings. I say, okay, great. So let's look at what are some meetings that you can do some walk and talks. So walk and talks, right? Very, very um, kind of approachable, easy way to incorporate movement within your control. Now, here is the next star step that I talk to my clients about. Let's say you have a 30 minute meeting. Let's say you and I are having a, a 30 minute walk and talk meeting. What I want to get to a point, Jared, is that we have a very prescriptive uh, kind of map and route of where we're going. And then really looking at landmarks on that route and say, we're going to focus on this topic between this landmark and the next landmark. So I want to get very prescriptive as far as how we approach our meetings and our engagement, and, and also knowing that we're going to be in, incorporating movement as well, that has worked really, really well for me in the past. It's worked really, really well for my clients. So those are my two big things are, one, examining your calendar, really auditing, and really look at where you're at, where you need to be in, and then also looking at ways that you can incorporate movement during those times that you're really required 